हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिवानी एंड वेलकम टू सिविल सीरीज This video is on very simple topic, which is numericals on aggregate. In this, we see the numericals for finding the fineness modulus for fine aggregate and coarse aggregate, and the crushing and impact value for coarse aggregate. Question number one is on fineness modulus of fine aggregate. Fine aggregate sieve size range is between 4.75 mm. to 75 micron but for calculating the cumulative weight retain okay we are calculating the cumulative weight retain in further part but during that calculation you have to neglect a pan and 75 micron sieve cumulative weight retain okay so in the question the sieve size range is given from 4.75 mm to 150 micron on each sieve there is some weight retained okay on first sieve 4.75 mm sieve 50 g of weight retained and addition of this all weight retained on these given sieve is 1000 g okay so this is given and we have to calculate the fineness modulus of fine aggregate okay in the solution you have to first write the formulas required for calculation in that first is percentage weight retained okay uh, in percentage weight retained the formula is weight retained upon total weight into 100 weight retained is the weight retained on particular sieve is mentioned in a weight retained and total weight is the addition of overall weight which is 1000 g for this particular example okay second formula is for calculating the cumulative percentage retain which is summation of cumulative weight retain you have to add all the cumulative weight retain then you get a cumulative percentage retain then for finding the fineness modulus for fine aggregate you have to divide the cumulative percentage retain with the 100 here the actual solution of numerical start in which first i draw a two columns of sieve size and weight retain okay so in this particular example the total weight is given but in some examples the total weight is not given you have to calculate the total weight okay so total weight is is the addition of these all weight retains okay so 50 plus 310 plus 205 plus 240 plus 150 plus 45 equals to 1000 g okay so this total weight and weight retain is used in the calculation of percentage weight retain percentage weight retain is calculated by the formula weight retain upon total weight into 100 so for first row first see for first row weight retain is 50 divided by total weight is 1000 into 100 so 50 by 1000 into 100 equal to 5 then for second row 310 is a total is a weight retain 310 divided by 1000 into 100 31 for third row 205 divided by 1000 into 100 20.5 okay same procedure is applied for the remaining rows then move to the fourth last column for the cumulative weight retain in the cumulative weight retain in first row you have to must write the value of percentage retain okay percentage weight retain here the percentage weight retain for the first row is 5 so write as it is in the cumulative weight retain okay then for the second row you have to you have to add the 5 into 31 means you have to add this 5 into the second row of percentage weight retain 31 plus 5 equals to 36 then same 36 add into the 20.5 equals to 56.5 then this 56 add into 24 equals to 80.5 then this 80.5 add into 15 equals to 95.5 and this 95 add into 4.5 equals to 100 okay so this is the cumulative weight retain and you have to add these cumulative weight retains 
and the addition of these cumulative weight retained is 373.5 which is used for the calculation of fineness modulus for fine aggregate after calculating the uh, cumulative weight retained you have to add that all cumulative weight retains and that addition is equals to cumulative percentage retained which is equals to 373.5 and the fineness modulus formula is cumulative percentage retained upon 100 so 373.5 upon 100 is equals to fineness modulus and the fineness modulus is 3.735 the value of fineness modulus is not suitable for use because the fine aggregate size range is between 2.2 to 2.6 medium sand range is between 2.6 to 2.9 and coarse sand range between 2.9 to 3.2 but the value obtained from this particular example is larger than 3.2 so this soil is not suitable for use as a fine aggregate then a second question for fineness modulus of coarse aggregate in which the numerical is to determine the fineness modulus of coarse aggregate with the following observations in this example same sieve size are given for coarse aggregate which are between 80 mm to 4.75 mm but here the sieve size are given from 40 mm to 4.75 mm and the weight retained for each sieve is given okay so total weight of these all weight retain is 2000 g then these are the same formulas used for calculation of fineness modulus for fine aggregate and fineness modulus for coarse aggregate first formula is for percentage weight retained second for cumulative percentage retained third for fineness modulus procedure for calculating the fineness modulus for coarse aggregate is same as a fine aggregate okay only the sieve size is different okay so here the given sieve size and weight retained i draw the both columns of sieve size and weight retained total weight retained is 2000 g first of all we have to calculate the percentage weight retained formula for calculating the percentage weight retained is weight retained upon total value into total weight into 100 okay so for first row the weight retained is 142 divided by total weight is 2000 into 100 so 142 divided by 1000 into 100 equals to 7.1 then second 485 divided by 485 divided by 485 divided by 2000 into 100 equals to 24.25 same procedure is for the remaining rows for cumulative weight retain first you have to write the value of percentage weight retain for the first row as it is for the cumulative weight retain 7.1 then you have to add the 7.1 into 24.25 equals to 31.35 then this 31.35 add into 10.1 equals to 41.45 then this 41.45 add into 13 equals to 54.45 repeat the procedure and calculate the values up to the 4.75 mm cu then add these cumulative weight retained to calculate the cumulative percentage weight so cumulative percentage weight retained or cumulative percentage retained is obtained which is 309.65 then divide that value with 100 you get a fineness modulus as 3.06096 the value is in between the coarse sand range which is 2.9 to 3.2 so this sand is used as a coarse sand or coarse aggregate third numerical is on crushing value of coarse aggregate in that we have to calculate the crushing value of coarse aggregate using the following data and write suitabilities okay so in the question we have given a three samples a b and c for the three samples there is weight of 100 sample in gram and weight of fraction 
passing through 2.36 mm cube. Okay, so for calculating the aggregate crushing value, formula is weight of fraction passing through 2.36 mm cube divided by weight of O100 sample into 100. So next I calculate the value of aggregate crushing value for three different samples with the help of aggregate crushing value formula. Aggregate crushing value is equals to fraction passing through 2.36 mmcu divided by total O100 aggregate. So for first sample the fraction passing through 2.36 mmcu is 575 upon total aggregates total O100 aggregates are 3119 into 100 for first sample the aggregate crushing value is 18.43 percent for second sample 17.89 percent for third sample 18.78 percent then after that you have to add all these values for calculating the average crushing value add these three values and divide by three here only three samples are given so you have to calculate the average by adding these three values divided by three. Okay, so value for average aggregate crushing value is 18.36. And this value is less than 13%, less than 30%. So the aggregates are useful for non-wearing and wearing surfaces. Fourth question is on impact value test. Impact value test was conducted on course aggregate in the laboratory and the observations are recorded as given below. Find the average impact value of course aggregate and state its suitability. Okay, so laboratory test is conducted on a two samples. For these two samples, weight of 100 aggregate that is W1 is given and weight of fraction passing through and weight of fraction written on 2.36 mmcu is given. Passing is W2 and retained is W3. Okay, so for calculating the aggregate impact value, formula is W2 upon W1 into 100. By this formula, you have to calculate the aggregate impact value for first sample that is 122, 122 divided by 645 into 100 and for second sample 134 divided by 636 into 100. Then add the, add the values of impact value for both the sample and divide by 2 for getting the average impact value of course aggregate and let me know your answers into the comment section.